everyone and welcome to the newest episode of Curious Business Talks. Today I'm reading out loud the article about Google UX course progress, designing user experience for social good. Let's dive in! But before we start, I would really want to ask you to subscribe to my channel because it helps me to keep up with the algorithm and also helps my content reach other people that are interested in the topics that I'm talking about and making videos about. So I would really appreciate your uh, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting and any interaction that can make this channel more visible to other people. Thank you in advance. Update. 45% in and I enjoy every step of the Coursera course provided by Google. Last year, I think it was November or December, I signed up to take the course Design a user experience for social good and prepare for jobs by Google. And ever since, I have tried to pace my work around it, including freelancing and content creation. I applied for the financial aid for the course and I got it. I guess practicing writing and expressing yourself can really help you achieve great things in life. Why I took the last course? Well, I started exploring and learning about user experience way earlier in 2021 through the online video courses, books and design events, TV series, articles, YouTube videos, and of course, smaller UX infused projects. Yes, I have started applying UX practices in my web development with no code CMS platforms and design projects because the best way to learn is through practice. That's my niche, creating websites with UX attention. Slowly but surely, I would love to focus primarily on the UX design process and work on projects which require more research, testing and why not even traveling. The course was more like a framework that I needed to complete a passion project that I started also earlier as soon as I quit my last job. The sketching started with me figuring out different information architecture because the website has lots of unnecessary pages in the menu bar and I mean too much. So I started by following my intuition. Even though the level is beginner and I have already learned lots of the terminology and parts of the design thinking process, I found the course well organized and engaging. As I said, I'm almost at the end of the week three, edit, started week four of the course and I have learned so much already. Here you can check one of the high fidelity prototypes of the book reserving mobile app Figma link. Other prototype flows in the Figma file are the previous iteration. For anyone considering taking the course, I say do it. My advice would be take it and pace your time. Schedule in your calendar at least one hour a day dedicated to the course. Unfortunately, I did that too late into the course because of other work but often happened that I spent more than one hour just because I enjoy working on the project so much. Do not repeat my mistake, plan ahead and think about what will you do during the time when you need to scout for your participants that will help you with your usability study later on. Search for your participants in advance to get a head start. Do your research. Read the instructions well and add each file separately when it comes to the peer assignments. It's just easier and better to review and create them this way. Be proactive. Record your process, make time lapses, take photos and videos of your sketches and use all that experience for content creation. And yes, don't forget to enjoy the process. Thank you so much for listening and following and subscribing me on every and each platform that you have. Your comments and feedback as always keep me motivated to keep posting and create content. And I also would like to ask you to share, like and subscribe once again so my content can reach more like-minded people. Thank you so much and I'm wishing you a really nice and peaceful week. Bye!